good. How you doing? All good tonight. Question, question. Uh, can you give us an update on Jordan Whitehead? Yeah, um, came out to practice. Um, he looked good. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna try to give it a go. So it's uh, really encouraging. He's he's fighting through it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Izama showed up on the yeah, he's going to be all the way up to the uh, till game day, yeah. uh, just working with a hammy. Um, what about uh, Braden Man? Um, he's going to kick today uh, and see how he feels. Uh, he's going to be another one that will take the game day. After looking at all week at Cleveland Browns and the film, just kind of your assessment of them and what are you, your thoughts about going into this matchup? Um, offensively. Uh, you know, their O line's very good. They got the best one, arguably the best one two punch uh, at running back between Chubb and Hunt. Um, they're good at the skill spots. Uh, Bill Callahan uh, and Stefanski, they, they do as good a job as anyone with regards to creating issues in the run game. Uh, so they're very talented there. Uh, defensively, um, you know, they, they are fast, they're physical, their front is. Uh, is a problem. They've, they've done a really, really nice job schematically. Joe Woods and I being together from uh, San Francisco, Miles Garrett and Clowney, they're, they're, they're hard to deal with. Linebackers are fast. Corners are pretty good, uh, really good. So it's, it, it, this is a very, very good roster. They've done a really nice job building it over there, and it's going to be a great challenge. When you watch his defense, Robert, do you see shades of your defense? Uh, yeah, they're. Um, I don't want to compare them to 19, but they're – um, they're disruptive up front. They're fast at the uh, at the intermediate level, and they're locked down on the outside. I mean, they're they're a very 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 talented group. Um, you could argue they're one of the top five units in football right now. So they're it's it's going to be a great challenge for our for our team. For your offensive line, how much does it help to have the experience from last week and also to have some tape from week one to, to go off? Um, it, it's. Anytime we can get the get our guys together and playing, it, it's it's always valuable. A lot of things that we can learn from. Again, just uh, just simple things of knowing where your teammates are uh, down and down out. So it's uh, anytime we get a chance to, to play together, it's going to be valuable. What makes Miles Garrett so dominant? Like, what, what is it about him that? Um, well, I was joking, uh, not joking, because it's half true that God, uh, the good Lord was on his A game when he built Miles. Um, <laughs> that there, he doesn't have a flaw to his game. Uh, he's big. He's uh, he's 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 got everything. And um, and when he turns it on, it's he is he's impossible to block. Is right. having Clowney on that other side makes it even worse. <laughs> Robert, um, how tough is this their, their run game? They're playing 270 yards. Yeah, they they uh, like I said, Bill Callahan. He's uh, He's one of the better ones in football in terms of uh, O-line play and creating run run scheme and creating conflict. Um, and uh, and then you add those two backs who are just tremendously patient, explosive, powerful, violent runners, along with a really good O-line, especially on the interior. Um, they're they're as talented as you can you can draw it up. And uh, so so we've we've got to bring it. You know, it's going to take all eleven every play. And uh, but uh, they're they're really good up front. Did you have to say anything to Brees this week, Robert, after his first game? He has a pretty big mistake. Yeah, you, uh, you, they're not trying to make a mistake, right? They're not trying to fumble. He's trying to fight for extra yards. He spins out of it. You just, you, you just got to remind him this league is different than college. You know, they're, 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 they're. they're the players are too fast. They're too smart. Uh, they're too ball, ball focused. Um, and. Uh, you know, so a, a great lesson for him. He, there was even one he was just talking about. You know, he he saw a crease, and a uh, big Calais just grabbed him, and he's like, "That's like that's never happened to him before." So it's just a, uh, and he's like, this "Just grabbed him and just stopped." And he's like, "Geez." <laughs> so um, you know, but uh, but you know, for him, it's just all these guys, just uh, that lesson. Like he didn't realize how strong these guys are, but and so there's just a different mindset when you're trying to hit those creases. Where in college, he probably would have been gone. What's the difference between trying to stop a guy like Lamar Jackson and then trying to stop the run game that Cleveland has? So different. Um, they they're both phenomenal run run schemes. One is more deception with the quarterback uh, and ad adding the element of the quarterback. So you're always a gap uh, uh, gapped out unless you go zero against Baltimore uh, or play with extremely aggressive safeties, which is what we did last week. This one's different in the sense that you're you pretty much know where they're running. How they're going to do it, and they don't care. And it's just a—it's a different mentality. 
um, which you appreciate as a football coach. They they are they are running the ball. They they still have a good pass game and all that stuff too. They got great boot system, great play action pass system. But uh, this one's more direct. But at the same time, uh, they get you they get you running. They 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 move gaps and it, it's a really cool scheme. But over the last few years. Have you seen teams kind of move away from the bell cow back? Uh, even the Browns, you know, they're kind of using both of those guys now. Uh, they didn't do, you know, now mixing them in. You guys have done that. San Francisco did it. You know, have you seen that as a, as a defensive guy going up against offense? Yeah, you you just it, it's uh, the the game is so violent that it's just hard for these guys to be able to last and carry. Now there's still some out there, Derrick Henry. Uh, but you also you also want these guys to last longer than just 27, 28 years old. You want them to have that longevity of getting to 30, 31, 32 years old, uh, and be able to still run the run the ball at a high level. And uh, so you know, it's kind of I, I don't want to compare it to what baseball does with their pitching staffs and how the, how those things have kind of evolved. Uh, but it's kind of in the same concept that you're just, you're trying to elongate these guys and make sure that they're fresh. It's an 18 game season. Uh, you're trying to make sure that they're fresh for those fourth quarters when you when you really need it, need your playmakers the most, and uh, not that you're slowing it down, but um, but there's so many great athletes coming out of college too that it's just you just you just want to feed them all the ro- feed Robert, them all the rock. Don't want to um, you know overstate things on September 16th, but there's always this stat about teams that start 0-2 and it's like 10% make the playoffs. With teams. What's the sense of urgency right now, like after after you know week one loss? I, to me, the sense of urgency is always going to be high. Uh, week one loss, week two, week three, it doesn't matter. You're always trying to, to perform and, and, and show you belong and show that you're making progress and all that stuff. So the urgency is going to always be sky high. Um, you know, it's uh, I'll argue that those stats were for the 16-game uh, season. We're in a 17-game season, so we'll see what studies happen. But uh, <laughs> but you never know. No, it's the focus is on this one. And... Um, you know, it's 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 just finding ways to get better every single day, and just so we can get the result that we're looking for. A couple more. Uh, CJ, that was in practice yesterday. You know, that, that hamstring. Yeah. Uh, well, he he was in practice and okay. just felt something. So we'll see. Uh, what did you think of the they did? Uh, I thought he did a really nice job. You know, we put him up to the task of uh, trying to lock down Andrews on third down and all that stuff, and and we're matching him. But because uh, he is a bigger body, uh, thought he was poised. Thought he was. Brought a lot of energy, uh, played smart, uh, had that big PBU in the end zone. Um, so for the most part, I thought he did a really good job. Yesterday, we were talking to Jeff Ulbrich, and he's, he said that Quan is a guy who really kind of unhinges you guys as a team, just kind of, you know, lets loose. He also mentioned Will Parks as a guy like that. Why is it important to have those type of guys? And, and do you, when you're looking at players, is that a trait? So to speak, that you you want to bring in. You you love it. There there there's not a lot of them. Um, so so I use Quan as an example, um, and I think Fred actually talked about it this off season. Uh, they asked him who his best teammate ever was, and he talked about Quan. Um, I think, and I don't want to speak for Fred, but I I think Fred will credit Quan for the personality that Fred has been able to extract, and a lot of guys. You know, you go into these locker rooms and you're trying to find that person to follow. And so a lot of times you'll get a guy who wants to be that demonstrative leader, uh, positive energy and all the stuff that Quan brings, but they they kind of follow the lead of the person in front of them. And so Quan comes in with his legendary mindset and he uh, and he has this just this aura about him and this this juice and this love of football that's just absolutely contagious and he extracts it out of people and um, and so having those guys scattered throughout the the locker room is uh, is proving to be highly effective at least from my experience t-shirt coach yeah uh, so we're honoring uh, Mike Scarpelli of uh, as our high school coach of the week um, Clarkson uh, South High School make sure I get these right West Nyack uh, New York uh, they they beat their uh, rival 38 37 and stopping the two-point conversion in a double overtime game first one of the season uh, went to school graduated there in 92 and he's been there for 20 years big Jets fan so all good Thanks, everyone. Uh, thank you guys yeah. Did you major in math in college?